From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Six people are dead after a shooting inside of a Milwaukee brewery. Authorities say the gunman was an employee who got fired hours earlier, and he is among the dead. The shooting happening inside the Miller Coors building. 600 people work there, and today's shooting putting area schools and businesses on lockdown. President Donald Trump is tasking his second in command with handling the country's efforts to combat the coronavirus. Vice President Mike Pence will work with the government's top health authorities. The president pushing back against criticism that his administration is not doing enough to meet the coronavirus threat. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill are calling for much more money than the $2.5 billion the White House is requesting. It was a major mess for drivers in South Tampa today. Our cameras capturing video of hunks of asphalt piling up and traffic backed up for several blocks. This all happening because CSX made the call to close roads to do maintenance on its tracks. The city accuses the company of going rogue and failing to communicate the shutdowns with the public. CSX plans to reopen several major roads by the morning. Now here's Dennis with Florida's most accurate forecast. Hey, you doing everybody? Skies are gradually clear overnight. You'll wake up Thursday to sunny but cold weather. Temperatures come wake up time in the 40s and 50s. Only warming up in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees later in the day. Even colder on Friday morning as we could see a near freeze in our northern counties. I think we stay sunny and cold right through the weekend. Thank you, Dennis. And don't forget, you get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember, you can always download the free ABC Action News app.